Hello everybody, this is Jennifer Nicole. Welcome to our tutorial. Visit our website at artinthegarage.com. Today we are creating Tawanda! Battle cry of the female. Thank you, fried green tomatoes. As you can see, this is my original sketch, which I created in Sketchbook Inc. That's an app that does not have um, a screen record technology to it. It's also an app that Autodesk hasn't bothered to update in about three years. I love that program. I really do. I don't recommend it to anybody anymore because I feel that Autodesk has given up on it and therefore it'll probably be unavailable soon. Um, I love it. And if anybody from Autodesk is listening, watching, or even knows about me, for the love of God, send out an update, please. I will be your best friend. Today we are creating the Tawanda. As you can see, I, I'm inking in my skin first, and then I'm doing my shadows afterwards. Because Tawanda is screaming, you know, Tawanda! We want, we want that to come out in the image. So what I'm doing here is just creating lines. I want a little stress. I want the eyes to be squinted. I want the mouth to be extended. I want her to look like she's screaming Tawanda. Hey, she's a rebel. She's screaming it. I love her. As you can see, I am fixing my lines as I go. Nobody is perfect, especially me. Occasionally, you will see uh, lines that shouldn't be there. Maybe the lines are a little crooked. Maybe the lines are a little disoriented, they could be a little blurry, who knows, who cares? I mean, it's your art, you do what you want to do, I'll do what I want to do, and that'll be that. I like my artwork to be neat. I don't like to have a lot of flaws in it. As you can see, I work very, very, very carefully. I select what I have just inked in, and then I do my highlights and shadows around it. The reason I do that is because I don't want to waste a lot of time inking and I don't want to waste a lot of time erasing. If you work cleanly, it's a lot easier. Uh, a little bit about me while I'm here drawing the mouth. Uh, I have been in an art check now for four years. Every day I create a new work of art. Originally I was doing art in the traditional world. It was a way to enhance my skills. I'm a folk artist and I make hand-painted signs and windows and I take them, a green artist, so all this stuff is recycled. And I draw it all freehand on bits of board. When I'm at a show, I draw on the spot for people. They tell me they want a sign with fluffy clouds, I have to draw fluffy clouds. They want a cat, I need to draw a cat. They want a dog, they want a beagle, they want a butterfly, they want whatever they want. And I have to be able to draw it. So what I did was... So I started doing this art track, and every day I create a new work of art. Four years later, and 1,600-something dailies later, I am still going strong on this art track. It is a wonderful way to just hone your skill. You have to think of art like a muscle. The more you work at it, the stronger it's going to become. But in the beginning you're gonna be a little 10 pound weakling. You're not gonna be able to lift anything. You have to practice and never, ever, ever, ever say, I'm just not good enough, because that's not true. Your art is your art and my art is my art. And while I'm not gonna be able to draw some of the things that other people are doing on the internet, you may not be able to do what I'm doing on the internet. And that's okay. You just do what you wanna do and I'll do what I wanna do. Yeah. That's nice, right? When I started this art check, I worked on primarily sketchbook ink and my iPad. It was the original iPad or generation two iPad, I believe. And it was awful. I mean, it was awful on many, 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 many levels. Uh, I started in 2013. And the first bits that I did are so terrible. I invite everybody to go to my Art Trek page and check them out. Go back to 2013 and see how awful it was and see the progression because I was doing it every day, no matter what, every single day. I went from drawing 
silly little flowers to wine glasses to flags. I mean, really, I, I just drew absolutely everything. And by March, I felt that it was getting much, much better. And then a year went by, and towards the end there, I, I was doing stuff that even I couldn't believe I was doing. It was incredible. Then I decided, just because I thought it would be more fun to work in Procreate, and it is, it very, very much is, I had to relearn the program again. And the first images that I did in Procreate are just so absolutely horrible. They're hysterical. Uh, if you want, you can search me on DeviantArt. It's, just type in all one word, Art in the Garage, and you'll come to my profile page. And look for my very first Procreate Galley. It's a, of a woman, I think. Um, it's hideous. It's horrendous. I invite anybody to download it if you like. It's atrocious. It's horrible. It's a menace. It's a slap in the face to all things art. And I'm so proud of it because it's me learning a program. And so many people come up to me and say, gee, I wish I could do that. Gee, I wish I could do that. Gee, I wish I could do this. And you know what? The truth is you could if you just try. And in the beginning, just like when you were a baby, you're not going to be running. You're going to have to learn to walk before you run. And you're going to fall down a lot. Just keep getting up and keep trying it. And eventually, you will succeed. Now, a lot of people use Procreate with the iPad pen. I don't. I'm actually just drawing with my finger. My shtick is an app, an iPad, and a finger, and that's all I need to create art. It's true. Um, a lot of people love the iPad pen. I've worked with it. It is a beautiful thing. I mean, it really is. And in Procreate, it's wonderful. It lets you do light and shadow. And if you're used to sketching in the real world and you don't want to go digital because you miss that pen technique, then I recommend getting it. As for me, um, when I started doing this, they really didn't have a lot of stylists out there at the time. I mean, this was four years ago. And so I learned to do it with my finger, and now it's my shtick. And so that's the way it's going to be until I stop doing it. All right, so back to this. <laughs> Enough about me. <laughs> back to the art. Uh, as you can see, I'm working on the hair here. Um, I like to work in layers. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of layers. I like to select things so it's nice and neat. And then once I'm done tweaking that particular portion of my art, like the hair or the mouth or the skin, I'll drop everything down. You just saw that. Drop it down. Now the red background is to check for mistakes. New layer, new color. Sometimes I'll start with something dark. And then I'll go, yeah, I don't like it. You like that? Yeah. So I'll change the color. And what I do is I grab the circle at the top right-hand side. I change the color. And then just like paint bucket, I just drop it in. Procreate's wonderful at letting you cheat and, and do little tricks and wonderful little things that make your life so much easier. Another easy trick is you see this shadow on her jacket. It's just incredibly too dark. What I do is I go into the layer and I lighten it up. And then once I do that, I'll drop it down and boom, you have a layer. The double hearts. The double hearts are my signature. They're in absolutely everything I do. They're the equivalent of Carol Burnett pulling on her ear to say I love you to her family. Um, this is my way of saying I love you to my family to my sisters, to my brother, to my husband, to my baby cats. I love you all. So here's the background. And what I'm doing is I like to create easy backgrounds. Um, I use the glass blur in Procreate to create that sort of wonderful fuzzy feeling in the back. Um, it's a cheat. Absolutely. Positively, it's a cheat. Um, I love it. So I'm going to be doing it forever. Enjoy that. I don't have a lot of time in my dailies and I have to get them done quickly. So I don't waste a lot of time on my backgrounds unless I have to make the background, you know, spectacular. 
Here I am combining all the layers. So if I need to move the girl at any time, she's all connected without flattening everything. This way I still have my layers to play with. Just in case I made a boo-boo, you never know. <laughs> Tawanda! Come on, do it at home. You know you want to. Ready? One, two, three. Tawanda! I love YouTube. It's fun. <laughs> okay, so here's my name. I'm dragging it over to the right-hand side. I like to put my signature a little, little big, a little loud, a little bold. Um, I do that on purpose because I don't want my artwork to just be out there without my signature on it. I also tag everything with my website. I highly recommend that. A lot of people just put their website over the artwork like like a watermark and um, I personally can't stand that I understand the internet and people are going to steal it I, I get that you know the day and age that we have if they're going to steal it then they're going to get my flipping signature and my website on it and that's the way that's going to be deal with it I'm almost done with my whole image. Uh, I have a very cartoony kind of hand, so I like to do these little dots in the background. It gives it a very comic book kind of style. I don't fight what I am anymore. I just embrace it. Another little cheat, lightening one layer, sticking them together, and then lowering them down. And because I'm crazy, Thank you very much. I need my website to be perfect. <laughs> so here we are. And that is how you create that. It was simple. It was easy. It was fun. It was Tawanda! Check out more of my art at artinthegarage.com. See the folk art. See the windows. See the furniture. Check us out at the shows. We're here. We're there. We're everywhere. If you want to follow along and you don't have any of the social media accounts, feel free to go to the top of my website page, click any one of these icons and you'll be directed right to our social media. I had an absolute blast. I hope you did too. See you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.